Okay, so today we are looking at electric charge and we've got four questions here to answer. So we're going to do our guess method of solving problems. Question number one says one coulomb is the quantity of electricity transported in one second by a current of one amp. So the question is saying how many electrons how many electrons in one coulomb of charge? And we know that total charge is equal to the number of particles times the charge on the particle. Okay, so this time we need to find N, how many electrons. So that means that N is equal to the total charge over the charge on one particle. In this case, the total charge is one coulomb and the charge on an electron is minus 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19. Now you don't need to know that off by heart. Um, you are given it in the exam, but it is a, you probably will learn it just because you use it quite often. And when you put one divided by negative 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 into your calculator, you should remember to put the bottom number in brackets, otherwise the one will divide by negative 1.6 and that answer will be multiplied by 10 to the power of minus 19, which will be a wrong answer. So your calculator should give you 6.25 times 10 to the 18 electrons. And as you would expect, that is a really big number. Okay, 6.25 times 10 to the power of 18. Okay, and that C there is the unit charge, so I probably shouldn't even have that in the calculation. So that's question one. Question two, how many electrons in a charge of negative 6.4 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs? So again, it's asking us to find N, capital Q over little q, which is negative 6.4 times 10 to the minus 19. One electron, negative 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19. And if you like numbers, you'll, you might look at these two and know that 64 is four lots of 16. So you would know that it is four electrons. If you didn't know that, make sure you put brackets around them before you put the division into your calculator. You should still come up with four. Okay, question three is saying, what is the charge of a beryllium nucleus? So beryllium has an atomic number of four. So in the nucleus, there must be four protons. Okay, remember that there is no charge on the neutrons in there. So a beryllium atom has four protons and the charge of a proton must be positive 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19. And I know that because all atoms are neutral. So an electron and a proton must have equal and opposite charges. Okay, so that's the charge on a proton. So multiply that by four and the charge of the beryllium nucleus must be positive 6.4 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs. Okay, and then lastly, question four says 250 oil droplets. And that will be our number of particles. Has a charge of one negative, sorry, 1.5 times 10 to the minus 13 coulombs. What is the charge on one oil drop? So this time we're finding little q. And if we rearrange the formula over here, little q is equal to big Q total charge over number of particles. 
So the total charge is negative 1.5 times 10 to the minus 13. And there are 250 droplets. So the charge on one droplet will be negative 6.0 times 10 to the minus 16 coulombs. Again, just make sure you've got the right numbers in your calculator before you, you do that division. Okay, hope that helps. If you're finding this a little bit tricky, please remember to come to tutorials. Thanks.